Hello everybody, this is Gregor from Personas and today is a very special episode on comping. If you're an avid follower of my series, then you might know that in episode 15 we've already taken a look at audio comping. If you haven't seen that, this would be a great introduction to the whole topic. But today I want to show you another kind and that would be comping for virtual instruments or MIDI comping as I like to say. And how that works I want to show you right now. Let's go. I'm going to link you episode 15 of Studio One with Gregor where I'm discussing comping in detail in the video description. But if you don't know, then you can open up the record panel here inside of the transport bar. And this is where you can access all of the options that you're going to need for comping. Now the record mode is where you can set takes to layers for both audio and instrument comping and we want to engage that. But specifically for instrument comping, we would also have to engage record takes. And now instead of recording something and then recording over it, either overlapping the notes with more note data or replacing them if the replace toggle is active, we now get takes of our performances that we can then combine to create a perfect performance. And this is probably best understood if I just show it to you. So right here I have a song from my old band uh, loaded up something that I produced back in 2017 with my best friend from the UK. And uh, we're just going to go all out on the 80s here, all gas, no brakes, and uh, just try a couple of attempts to find a cool sounding synth solo. So. Just gonna set my loop range here. This gives me a little bit of a count in. And then it's just gonna repeat a couple times. And I have record takes and takes to layers active. So after I'm done, I hopefully get a couple of layers where my performances will be sorted. So without any further ado, let's go. Go for another round. And one last time. So whether this is your kind of music or not, uh, this is more about the principle how to do comping, of course. So now I have the very last performance that I played here at the top as my main take. I can just delete that and I'm still able to access all of the note data from my three attempts right here from the layers. They've been expanded immediately after I finished recording because takes to layers is active. and. The way I would go about this now is very similar to how you would go with audio comping. I'm just going to use the bracket tool here to, you know, select the first attempt and then listen up until the point where I wasn't too happy with the performance anymore and then try to use the bracket tool, you know, to go for a couple of my other performances. And let me just go ahead and color this one a bit more red, this one green perhaps, just to make them, you know, a bit easier to tell apart. And now let's give the first take that I played a listen. That's already kind of cool, but I think that I like the intro from my last take the most. So let me just replace that. Very nice. And here I think I like the third take 
once again, if I recall correctly. And here I obviously had a mistake, so let's go back. Let's try perhaps take two here. So I think you get the idea. And once I got my ideal take, I can just select all of these parts, hit the G key to merge them, and now I have my perfect take, so to say. So I hope this is inspiring to you. Perhaps try this out in your next virtual instrument part where you're not quite sure what chord progression or what melody progression you want to go for. And see you next time.